Greetings everyone, it's Freedy Hero here, and welcome to another Titanfall 2 loadout video, where I bring you new loadouts to try every once a week. Today's loadout is a requested and highly odd loadout to go ahead and create, considering the fact that the pilot in name uses his archer as a primary against, well, everything. Today's loadout will be the Boomer, who is a notorious and difficult pilot to take down if you don't coordinate your attacks. The Boomer is a heavy hitting and stationary ish pilot that's capable of receiving large amounts of damage and then dishing them back out again with his amped able and archer. But once his shield is gone, then he doesn't become that much of a threat. If you manage to get him, he can be devastating against everyone since he acts as both a defensive and offensive pilot in one. But this only applies in Titan 4 Assault, and if you do manage to get him, he's actually very well versatile in taking down a bunch of enemies before he dies. So enough of my speech, let's go into the main loadout schematics. The class will be the click pilot so that you can follow in the step of the boomer pilot. However, to get the AWOL effect, you will need to play as the AWOL pilot himself, which you can go ahead and do, just it will change the look of the pilot instead. In this case, I will be sticking with the cloak pilot, and not use the cloak ability at all, unless give it from the titans. And instead, we'll give the loadout two boost options, if you want to play two different playstyles. Your primary will be the EVG for its destructive power and fitting role for the boomer. Your secondary will be the P2016, and your heavy will be the archer, as this is the weapon used by the boomer pilot himself. Your ordnance will be the frag grenades for its destructive and very reliable usage against groups. Your boost will come in two areas depending on whether you want to use the cloak pilot or the AWOL pilot. If you choose to use the AWOL then I suggest you use the amp weapon so you can go so you can be both mobile and stationary with your archer. But if you choose the cloak pilot then you can go either particle wall for more defensive and slower playstyle or amp weapons for the more fast moving and heavy hitting playstyle. The choice is yours. Your Titan will be toned with reinforced particle wall for more defense and overcore for faster core. And lastly, your pilot's kit will be alternate expert and kill report for a unique combination. Now with this loadout, I decided to go with the standard cloak class as I want to follow the Titan 4 Assault Boomer as much as possible and try out both boosts to mix up my playstyle in each matches. I mainly use the amp boost playstyle to fit in with the EPG and Archer, to which they are both explosion weaponry, and allow me to play a more lethal and fast play playstyle. You can go ahead and try the loadout in both offensive and defensive, but considering that the EPG is more effective when overhead on targets, you really should play within your weaknesses and turn it into strength. So stay mobile and above ground while releasing explosive payloads, this would work within your favour. The only time you should be stationary at least is when you're using Archer, as you have a better chance of landing most of your shots when you're standing still. Now although the loadout doesn't allow us to use the Archer against grunts, we can still make good use of it through using it against Titan the Reapers, to which is very powerful and great at taking them down within a few shots. For the EPG though, it can still act as if it was the Archer without the lock-on effect, as it still does explosive damage against Titans, Pilots and grunts. So use it against both Pilots and grunts as it should, and then use your Amped Archer against the Reapers and the Titans midway through the match. This way here, you'll be mix matching and still use the Archer as it should be used for this playstyle. If you decide you don't want to go with the amp weapon playstyle, then choose the particle wall boost playstyle instead, which will be a lot more slower than your latter, but still equally as powerful as ever. For this, every time you get the particle wall, change your playstyle from mobile to stationary, and stay behind it and focus on taking out the grunts and titans with your EBG or pistol. Or you can go ahead and use the particle wall boost to protect your friendlies, it really does depend on how you want to go, go ahead with this and depend on and depends on how the match is playing out. This will make you a certain target, so make sure you're prepared to take on a pilot or two. And if you need to, you can run off to prevent yourself from being killed. Or, better off, maximise on your frag grenades and throw them from behind your shield, so you don't have to worry about reloading and such. Once the area is cleared, you can either move on and clear out the remaining areas as much as you can, or drop your titan down and go to town against the remaining foes. Now, this is two loadouts in one, which is kind of odd for me to do for most of my builds, but it was quite satisfying nonetheless, since I want to make it so hard and yet interesting for myself. So, if you ever wanted to focus on an explosive build that can either protect or devastate against others, then give this build a try and tell me what you think. Although I do wish that Respawn did allow us to use the Archer without the lock on effect, this is the best I can do to create the Boomer class. But like, like always, you guys can always mix match and find out something that plays within your favour. Like for example, you can always change your primary to say the Wingman Elite or the Mozambique. So you have two primaries, a pistol, a secondary pistol and an archer. And then for your build, you can primarily just focus on using your archer against reapers and titans alike. 
while you use your pistols against grunts and pilots. That is one other method you can go with, but if not, you've got this method here that I decided to split into two. So go ahead, play around with it, and honestly, give me back some feedback and tell me what you think about it. So that's the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means, leave a dislike. I understand. I'll look back over the video and I'll look over what I need to improve on in the nearby future. So, once again, people, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.